Hey, what's up everybody? How's it going? Welcome back guys. My name is Oshi Kurozu and I'm here for you guys to play some Smash. Today guys, before we start, what we're going to be doing today, I guess you guys can tell by the title, we are going to be playing Mewtwo. But before we start today, I wanted to go kind of show you guys a little bit of where I'm coming from as a Mewtwo player. Um, and we'll go back to doing like the variety Smash player content as well. Um, but let's kind of hop into it. So I wanted to look at my online records and just kind of show you guys where it's coming from with my, uh, with my Mewtwo gameplays. So currently um i currently have 932 online battles underneath my belt with mewtwo with a playtime of over 36 hours so that's kind of where i'm coming from um i guess i don't have a really good win rate for my last set of battles but i'm i'm basically finishing over 50 percent in my online battles and we are looking at where is it um battles is 932 and victories is 488 so we are over that 50 percent mark but not by very much so uh, that's kind of where I'm coming from with 1,820 KOs on this account. So basically today what we're going to be doing is just doing some grinding. Um, I do this online on stream as well, but this is going to be me just with you guys uh, for the YouTube side. And we are going to play some uh, some battles. Bef I actually, I was able to, uh, I was able to unlock um, the elite battle mode for Mewtwo. So that does give me a little bit more information as well. However, we're not quite there right now. And um, it's just a GSP number. So what it was was yesterday, I think it was yesterday that I was playing, we unlocked the Elite Mode, and we had 2.55 million GSP. Uh, and that's that was kind of the cutoff there. So, of course, GSP inflates every day, if you guys didn't know. And while it inflates, uh, that number is obviously going to go up. So... You, you don't just unlock it and it's not just unlocked permanently. If you drop below that GSP cap, you will lose your elite status. Okay, we're gonna play Sephiroth's Falco. So I haven't fought this guy before and I feel like at this at this like level of gameplay, you definitely, okay. That's how you're gonna start. That's how you're gonna start, buddy. I feel like at this level of gameplay, you start recognizing the, the usernames of the people you fight. Um, but this video is gonna be probably a little bit different where I focus more on just like, uh, we're gonna focus more on battles. And then uh, instead of like highlighting highlighting the character. Ooh, that was a bad play on my part. Oh. Okay, so I haven't played, I haven't played for a little bit. So this is like, this is like my warm up match with, with against Falco here. But I have changed my rule set quite a bit. Um, I focus now more on a three stock on the battle stages. Um, I just feel like it's, I guess I played a couple like online tournaments uh, from local people. And this, and this is, I guess, kind of like a pretty basic uh, tournament mode. Oh, let's see. He wants to play the reflect game. Let's go. Oh no, I lost. It was a bad play. We can definitely play the reflect game with Falco though. Mewtwo is definitely my favorite character to play. I absolutely love this character. Oh. Okay, well I guess he's gonna take himself out for us, so that's... Makes it easier for us to start. <laughs> I thought maybe he was just giving up. We've definitely seen some rage quits before. Uh, I've seen some rage quits online. Also, love the uh, love the Sephiroth name. Very edgy. Okay. See if we can get it again. There we go. Get the reflect game every time, every other time, and uh, we're gonna move forward. So let's see how we do here. So I was playing a little bit tonight too, and this is before the GSP inflation. Uh, and I think I hit two, five, seven, five and didn't hit on uh, elite. So let's see what happens. He didn't want to rematch. That's fine. It is pretty embarrassing when you lose, when you lose the, the, <laughs> when you lose the, the reflect game, it can be a little embarrassing. So 
Okay, our next matchup. Oh, is the same Sephiroth. It's just going to be his Yoshi. I feel like we're going to get rolled. Um, I really don't play good matchups against Yoshis. Just, I'm not a... I just feel like my Yoshi game is just so bad. But anyways, we'll see how we turn out. <laughs> okay, so we lucked out. So I just, sorry, I went really quiet, quiet there. Um, I lucked out there and got a, a really lucky down spike on Yoshi. Um, another thing I noticed is that when I play, uh, every time I'm like a stock up, I always like give it to my opponent. And right now I'm actually doing kind of not bad. So, I don't know guys, like, I don't consider myself to be a really good Mewtwo player. I don't consider myself to be a good, like a really good player at all. Um, but I would like to consider like my gameplay is probably a little bit above average. And the reason I wanted to give this to you was I wanted to give you, you know, uh, I guess kind of a taste of what Mewtwo can be like. Oh, we get the reflect on his shell. Now he's he's gonna bring it back. Oh, how did he how did he shield that dude? And we get the forward air. Very good. And <laughs> we trap him with our air neutral again. Nope, 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 not this time. No. Oh, when you play Mewtwo, always count your jumps. I guess when you play anybody. Nice, very good catch. I love playing Mewtwo in these battle stages because Mewtwo's got that uh, that really strong up air. Okay. Okay, I need to be careful with what I'm doing here because I can lose this really quickly. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go! Yeah. And I take the W on Sephiroth. Two games in a row, baby. Um, so yeah, I don't consider myself to be like a super professional Mewtwo player, but like, I like him a lot, man. I like Mewtwo a lot. He's my favorite. Oh, we get the same guy. It's this is the only guy playing right now. We're gonna go up against his Falco. So let's. Uh, Ow. Uh-oh, not good. This guy knows our playstyle now, so I feel like... Uh-oh. He missed his grab a couple times. Ooh, no. Did I actually... Does that consider me as touching the ground? Yes. Oh, no. Nope, not gonna make it. Not gonna recover that. Okay, we have a long, we have a big hill to climb here. It's not the first time I've had to climb this hill before, but. So one one really thing that Mewtwo is like really good at is um, coming off of that edge. Oh. Maybe he doesn't want to play with me anymore. And hitting them through that uh, that little edge there. Oh no, that's a bad spot. Okay, so we are definitely not coming back. So we're just gonna have to take this loss and... And I'm gonna have to... Mm, sucks. Nice hit, though. 
Bad read on my part. I don't know, if this guy gets really cocky, we might actually have a chance of bringing it back. Oh, get out of here. Okay, well, we're 71%. We're in a, not a good spot, but... I mean, not a good spot, but not a bad spot either. Nope. Oh, dude. He just got that on us. But okay. Well, see, we win some, we lose some, we win some, we lose some. Sorry. Got a jet. Okay there, Mr. Smug. I guess a Mewtwo wins he laughs he goes <laughs> okay the same guy he didn't want to rematch again which is unfortunate but well i don't know we'll see might be him again maybe he switched characters to his his ultimate main who's that pokemon yeah the same guy Okay, so I've just kind of like been focusing up here a little bit. Um, but we're going to come back off that off that bad start with the stock. Nice. We're playing this pretty good. I mean, considering our start, we're playing we're playing it oh, not too bad. Okay, so we're going to neutral AM again. Oh. His forward air takes my... Oh, he can... Re Dude, what a recovery. Oh, <laughs> still not out. Hey, two stocks up. We'll take it. Okay, there we go down. But let's not let that get cocky. Let's just kind of play it really reserved. And hopefully he kind of lets his hothead kind of play for him there. That was completely accidental. Oh my god, dude. Okay, so he's playing really campy. I think he's a little tilted, uh, which is understandable. Oh, we're going to make that too. Let's charge up. Get ready to do it again. He's waiting for me to... I'm not going to get greedy on it though. We're just going to... We're not going to get too greedy and we're just going to kind of play it with our head level and we're going to pull that game through. So uh, if I had like to, if I was to give out like some tips on how to play Mewtwo, I don't have a specific style. I don't play a specific way. I haven't watched somebody play and play their way. I know there's a lot of different like play styles for him. Um, the air neutral seems to be like a very, really popular, really strong play style. Um, but Mewtwo also has like a really, really super strong forward air. Um, however, personally, I like to play the reflect game. So I like to find opponents. Obviously, you can't always play. But I kind of mix it up. But 
really practice nailing that fuck that forward air. And if you can't hit the forward air, um, practice with your practice with your up air and for edge guarding, try and get used to using your back tail. Uh, cause Meech is so floaty. He gets, he gets a lot of that, you know, he gets a lot of play and it, it'll allow you, I wonder if it's the same guy. Or even if you want to spike them on the edge, you can jump down and use your back air. Ooh, we get D's Bowser. Okay. I am going to lose. I lose to every Bowser I fight. Um, and I lose to Bowser because of the, uh, Okay, well, I lose to Bowser because he, he has a super armor that prevents him against my A, and... Okay, well, he actually just rage quit out. So I guess we'll take a W on Bowser. <laughs> but I do lose because I'm a strong neutral A user. Um, and I have spent... Okay, so another thing... Um, that I want to mention is I have spent a lot of time uh, trying to nail down the timing for my down spike. Um, I feel like it's very hard to hit with it, but um, I have spent a lot of online battles losing to people's up airs trying to use my down air. Okay, so we'll do one more battle here it's against Ice Climbers, which is another weak matchup for me. It's another mental matchup for me. Um... But uh, we'll finish up here, and uh, dude, I cannot get past this. Is that all they have to do? Is just. Okay, let's... Okay, so I think we're gonna take the first stop. Yeah, okay, we're gonna take... Hard to tell which one's which. Oh. Okay, good. Ah, oh, the stupid... At least we don't have to worry about any reflect on this. And we can... No, my jump! Dude, that happens so much to me. I lose my... I lose track of my jumps. See, there you go. So that's practicing that, uh, practicing that down spike and getting it in opportune places. Nice. Very good. And they seem really, really fixed on doing that, um, B attack, so... So let's uh let's zone them a bit. Cause they don't What just happened? Okay, they died, that's what happened. Oh no. Okay, well I didn't lose track of my stuff there. No, no, no! Oh my dude! What the hell? Oh, of course they'll recover. They're ice climbers. Okay, let's use this opportunity to try and deal as much damage as we can. Especially while they're while they're unsynced. I feel it's a good, it's a good opportunity to, to try and wreak some damage on these guys. Nice. They're just gonna walk into the 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 forward smash, then I'll take it. Alright, and there we go. 
final match of the night. Gonna push us back over, I think 2.6 mil, but it's not quite elite status. Uh, I don't know where it is, but I just know last last night it was 2.55, and then tonight it's probably closer like to, oh, not quite 2.6. <sighs> Damage given 700% and must count both uh, must count both ice climbers. <laughs> hey guys, so this is Oshi from the future coming back at you guys. I know I just finished the video, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it, but I just wanted to say I was like live. I'm actually doing this during my live stream right now, but I decided to record this because I was actually able to break the benchmark back into Elite that I was talking about earlier on this video. So there's a difference in your... Um, there's a difference in your menus and stuff like that, so you will notice it. At first, I thought it was going to be another menu right above the, the Battleground matchmaking that said Elite Quick Play or Quick Play Elite or whatever. However, this is not it. So here's your help description on Elite Battles. Oh, I won't give it to you here. So once you go into Elite Battles, it's going to give you this very sparkly, very, very fancy looking Smash um, icon. I don't know if it'll tell you here. Elite Smash is an exclusive society of top tier smashers. Only those with a high global smash power are invited to participate in these intense battles. So it's a, it's a pretty big way to whoop you up. Uh, and then what happens once you go into your character select screen, um, everybody is darked out except for the people that you can use Elite Smash and you even get a cool announcement. Let's just listen to that one more time just for my ego because I'm going to lose it immediately after this next battle. So. I had to record this now. Elite Smash! Oh, he gets very... Um, so it'll show you which characters you've unlocked Elite Smash with, which ones you have not. Um, I only have Mewtwo right now, so what's going to happen is if we were to pick any other character, it will give you a dialogue and say, Elite Smash is disabled. To enter Elite Smash using this fighter, you will need to increase your global smash power. So it doesn't... At first, I thought it was related to your GSP with your individual character. However, I don't believe that is accurate. I think it's just a flat GSP benchmark. You're in a top tier of players that are like whatever the top 10% is, the top whatever that percentage is for players. Um, you're part of that percentage for the Elite Smash battles. And then, um, so if we were to able to get Pikachu up to, I don't know, 2.65, we would also have Elite battles unlocked with Pikachu. Uh, so that's kind of how the Elite play works. Once you go into battle, everything else is the same. You start your battles, you do your fights, but if you drop below this specific amount of GSP, so if I was to drop below, I don't know, 2.65 or whatever the threshold is, it would just all go back to normal. You know, just all, it would just all go back to regular um, whatever. So just a heads up, guys. I wanted to throw that in there um, because I know there was a lot of confusion. There is a lot of confusion in the community about how to unlock quick play, but that's how you do it. Keep in mind the GSP threshold goes up every day. It's not always the same amount um, as the GSP inflates with new fighters entering the arenas. Uh, and so I don't know how GSP is calculated. I just do know that it inflates every day. So if I stop playing Mewtwo today right now, and in 24 hours I log in, I will have a higher base GSP just based on probably the amount of people who have started playing and how the inflation rules work. I don't know how it works. I don't pretend to. All I know is that that's how it works. And there is a GSP threshold, so. Um, anyways, guys, yeah, I just wanted to throw that into the video, so um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks. Hopefully it was helpful to learn. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, this is more of a highlight of a gameplay more than me just playing out the character because I feel like I'm pretty decent with this character. Um, again, GSP number is inconsequential because by the time you watch this video, it could be next week, and this number could be like a really low barrier into what GSP is. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoy this and I really highly suggest Mewtwo as a playable character. He is really, really, really good. And I feel like he is very universal against most matchups, except for stupid Bowser. Uh, before we shut down today's episode, guys, uh, I would like to give a special thank you to all the people whose names are in the backsplash of this video. You guys are amazing. Your contributions are incredible. Thank you very much. Um, but that's it for today, guys. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely encourage you guys to drop me a like in the video, leave me a comment in the section below. The last Mewtwo video that we did did crazy good, so I just wanted to show you guys some more Mewtwo. You guys are looking for it, so I wanted to highlight it. Um, but yeah, guys, if you guys are new to the channel, if you encourage you guys to subscribe, hit the bell notification, stay in touch with daily uploads on the channel. And if you guys didn't know, I also live stream on twitch.tv slash Oshikurosu five nights a week, Sunday through Thursday. And uh, I would love to see you guys hang. We got a really cool community full of good people. I think you guys dig it. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.